Yeah, all right, so finger picking. Now I am by no means an expert finger picker or chicken picker for that matter, but I use my fingers all the time, whether it's lead or rhythm or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some simple ways to start, right? Using your pick and your fingers at the same time. Real basic chord progression. You know, we're gonna go through, I'll give you some options, how I like to think about it, what strings I like to pluck, what strings I like to pick when I'm doing chords, and just give you some ideas, right? And just kind of walk you through how I would play a certain chord progression and then see if that works for you. And definitely try this in your lead playing. It just has opened up so many doors for me and different sounds, right? You were always looking to keep tweaking our sounds and getting more and more sounds out of our instrument and plucking strings is an awesome way to do that. So click the link below. That's gonna have some you know, eBooks, all that kind of stuff that you can go over. There's gonna be scales, trials. You can try out stuff you know, for a couple days or whatever. Always check the links down below. There's always some good stuff. Sometimes there's just lessons that aren't on YouTube down there as well that are awesome. So let's zoom in for a closer look. All right, so what I'm gonna do is a quick explanation of you know what some people might call chicken picking if you're using it in country, but we're gonna kind of expand upon that, whereas we're not always gonna be doing up and down strokes picking. Sometimes it's easier just to use our fingers, and you can look all sorts of players, whether it's uh, Jimmy Page or you know Carl Verheyen, he's an awesome studio guy, or I mean all sorts of people. You can see Zach Wilde of Ozzy, all these guys will throw in and use their fingers sometimes because it's easier to string skip if you don't need to do multiple picked runs and you're just reaching down to grab a string and play a note or two at a time. Sometimes just using your fingers rather than picking works fantastic. So in this case, I got my capo on the third fret and I'm doing a D, what would be a C add nine, right? Drop it down to the B note same fingers down here back right that's my chord progression so what I'm gonna do is if I'm picking a D I'll use my pick to get the D and the G string and my fingers middle finger and ring finger to catch the B and E string so what I'm doing is I'm going Right, so I picked D, G, pluck B, pick, and then pluck, pluck, pick, pluck. Right? Now, when I go up to this C, I'm gonna take my pinky off and I'm gonna keep this E open. When I go up here, I'm gonna do basically the same thing, but I'm just gonna not be playing the D string, so I'm gonna pick the A and the G and pluck the B and the E. Now sometimes if I decide I want to use um, the D string, right? I'm doing like a hammer on. I'll use my middle finger and this guy to pluck the G string and the B string, right? So it just kind of depends. If I usually have it to where it gets this pick, gets the top two notes, this gets the bottom two notes or wherever, depending on what chord you're playing. So, in the particular pattern, it is D, G, B pluck, G pick, E, B, pick, B. Okay, I'm gonna do that twice on the D. Then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna take my second finger up to what would be that C add nine chord, but I'm gonna take my pinky off. So I'm gonna leave the E open. C 
same basic pattern, but we're not using the D string, so it's gonna be the same thing. We're going A, G with the pick, right? We're going down to B pluck, back to G pick, and then, right? So pluck, pluck, pick, pluck. Same strings, right? Sometimes I'll do that, you know, or right, and go back from pick to pluck, you know, and I'll just be going back and forth between two strings, like say the D or you know, or just mix it up. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to use these fingers for what would be a lot of the upstrokes. Right, so where I would typically do an upstroke, I'm gonna use my finger. And while we're doing this, right, it starts to lend itself to being able to do the all that kind of stuff because your fingers are now used to picking and plucking at the same time. So you can string skip. Right? So I'm using my second and third finger, or my these two guys, right? If we're assuming this is right one, um, to use what would be a lot of the upstrokes, and it's really beneficial because you can start flying because you're not having to, you know, get your pick all stuck in between strings. You can keep your hand in one spot. So that's why I like to start with something like that. If we want to do that, I just went right the same thing that we normally done, and I pull off D suspended fourth. So I put my pinky down, pull off, and then just go to the E B G, and then I'll go D suspended second. And you can pick or pluck the G string. All right, so we got right, and you can hammer it back down. Okay, and then and just mix it up, you know? It's gonna be foreign, you know, sometimes that when we're all practicing and when I'm doing these lessons and stuff like that, you know, not everything's gonna be perfect, but you just practice it, right? You're gonna miss a note here or there or, or whatever, but that's part of the experience, right? We don't all have to be perfect. Just keep it slow. Realize that you're gonna miss some notes when you're first trying it, or even if you've been doing it for a long time, that it's gonna happen and it's natural, right? No big deal, unless you're on stage and then it sucks. <laughs> But, uh, you know, whatever, we're just practicing. This is why we're practicing. We're developing a new technique. Right? So just mess with that. Instead of doing all those upstrokes. Right? I'm minimizing my wrist movement by using my fingers. It's 
So give that a shot. Mess around with that chord progression because it's cool because you get that string skip in between, you know, when you go up to the C and drop down to B, back to C. You can skip that D string and work on the string skip from there or stick with a chord that has all the notes all together, like the D chord, right? You can do D suspended fourth, D suspended second. You can hammer on, right? You can go... and do that. So give that a shot. Use your fingers. Don't be shy. It's always good to have as many tricks in your bag as you can.